Uh, during the break in the studio, someone asked Mr. Hitchcock what the uh, ending of The Birds meant. And you, you made a very bold statement, I thought. You said you had no idea. Well, the point was, where do you end? Mm -hmm. Had I gone further with it, then the next shot would have been the Golden Gate Bridge in right. San Francisco, covered in birds. <laughs> and I fought shy uh, of doing that because I thought, wherever are we going to get that number of birds from? Yes. And then the residuals would have been enormous to all those birds. Oh, for each bird, of That's course. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been anything that they told you you just couldn't do, that you wanted to do, and they wouldn't let you either for censorship, well, for censorship purposes uh, in a film? No, no, I'm much too respectable I see. to be involved in anything so sordid as that. Of course, I should have known before asking. Uh, is there anything though, that you haven't done that you really want to get yet? Is there anything that you'd like to experiment with, with the camera, uh, with no. suspense, or something that you've, you've no, never gotten I, to No, I wait till the subject comes along and then tackle it from there on, mm -hmm. you know? Because every subject brings new challenges. Yeah. If you had to take one of your films, if they said, I'm sorry, there are too many films in the world and we're going to have to select one from each director uh, and destroy the rest, could you instantly go to one of your films? That I prefer, you mean? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, of course, it's always the last one, but that's too conventional an answer. Now, a film I made years ago called Shadow of a Doubt, I liked very much. Yeah. Because it was true, it was a character picture, and it was a family in a northern Ita uh, Californian town Mm -hmm. And beloved Uncle Charlie comes to stay with them. And what the family don't know is that Uncle Charlie is a mass murderer. Yeah. Murdered many women. So the suspense is, how long will it be before the family find out the truth? Mm -hmm. It's a good one. They never do. I think Notorious is one that I can watch every time it's on television. And, and there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that film. And, yet, and it was made quite a number of years ago. 1944. Yeah. And that's where I put in uranium as mm -hmm. the MacGuffin. Yes. We all remember that word, boys and girls? Uh, a year before Hiroshima. Yeah, and no one could figure out later how you did that. Because when you see the film now, you take the atom bomb for granted. But there was not an atom bomb, and no, no one knew uranium. No, it was in the course of manufacture. And uh, I went with the writer, Ben Hecht, uh, because one had read of the Germans experimenting with heavy water in Norway and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I went with Ben Hecht, the writer, to Caltech. And we walked into the office of Dr. Milliken, the famous professor there, and said, how big would an atom bomb be? And there was silence. And then he spent an hour telling us how impossible the whole thing was. And I understand, I was watched by the FBI for three months afterwards. Then how did you know to use uranium if they denied well, everything? Well, I knew the uranium. Lord Rutherford split the atom in 1920, mm -hmm. and I knew that would be the way that, in which the atom bomb would be made. Yeah. Then I heard of a place in New Mexico where men went in and never came out again. <laughs> where is that? Alamogordo, of course. Ah. And yeah. the first bomb was shut off. And you knew that within, did you know that within a year there would be an atom bomb? Uh, just by the Well, I didn't know when, but I knew it was possibly coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the producer uh, didn't believe in it. He said, I think that's a lot of nonsense, yeah. he said. I said, you're worrying about the MacGuffin. I said, this is a love story between Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. If you don't like uranium, we'll make it industrial diamonds. And years afterwards, when the film was shown in Germany, he said to me, uh, well, he said, you know, those Germans are very clever. Now that uranium is out of date, they've changed it to narcotics. Really? Yeah. When you were a kid, what were you like? Uh, were, were you... Nice. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> were you a sweet boy? Were, were you popular? Very quiet. Did you have a lot Very of friends? Very dignified. Mm -hmm. Kept to myself. Didn't have a lot of little friends? Uh, no, never fought other boys. 
was uh, very diligent, mm -hmm. and uh, which reminds me, may I tell you a story? Yes. About a nice little boy. His father managed to get him into the best school in England, Eton College, you've heard of that. Mm. Father went to visit him after a week, and the boy was scratched and bruised. Terrible state, he said, what happened? He said, they don't like me here, Father. They call me a dirty little Jew. He said, don't you fight back, they'll throw you out of the school. Keep away from them. He waits a week, visits the boy again, and he's still badly cut up. He said, they still calling you that? He said, yes, Father. He said, you tell them that Jesus Christ was a Jew, was a Jew and that'll stop them. So all right, Father, goes away. Third week, he's got two black eyes. He said, what, they're still calling you that? He said, didn't you tell them what I told you to tell them? He said, I tried to, Father, but I forgot the gentleman's name. <laughs> 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 That's a story I wouldn't, I have never heard and would not expect to hear anywhere else. <laughs> there, there, I think it's a charming story. It, yeah, it's a, it's a nice story. It, it pulls in several directions. You, uh, that reminds me of something. I don't know if you know that I know this or if you even remember it, but uh, someone who, who works for me once um, had a friend who called you from a magazine to interview you. And he asked you if you were Catholic, because he said, we are, we're the Catholic Digest, let's say, it was the magazine's name. And uh, we want to do an article about you. And you said, what is the circulation? <laughs> That's a very funny story. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. It doesn't always, you can't always tell by the amount of laughter. But <laughs> did, did you ever tell the man once he told you what the circulation was? I told him, yes, I was a Jesuit educated. Yeah. And that's where I learned about fear. <laughs> ah, ter you were terrorized by your teachers. They scared the hell out of me. <laughs> How did they Very do it? Very strict. Did they threaten physical violence on you? Oh, no, 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 no. But it's just the way you're brought up. And how would they, how, how would they frighten you? If you didn't do your lessons properly, or if you were not obedient, what, what bothered them? Well, it was, a, it was a, there were certain uh, punitive measures, may I call them, yeah. taken. Physical. Physical. Yeah. Not um, desperately physical, but uh, enough to deter one in future occasions. At that age. At yeah. that age, yes. Hey. We have a message. We'll be back. <laughs> 